Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> so, um, ah. let's show you guys another ROM. And today, I introduce you guys to Showstock ROM. Let me go ahead and drop the brightness down so it doesn't like overpower. All right, so <clears throat> this is based off 4.1.2. It's a TouchWiz based ROM. Um, it's actually ported over from the Galaxy S2 on AT&T, and it's working just fine on the Epic 4G Touch. Uh, one of the benefit features from this ROM is that you have the multi-window tasking um, bar here on the left. So that's really good, um, switching in, in and out between different things uh, a lot quicker than having to uh, back out or holding down the power button, which, you know, you have all these. <clears throat> um, messaging pretty much still, like, you know, looks the same and everything like that, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, your app drawer, and in the app drawer, it does have notifications, so as you can see, I have nine notifications on my Facebook. So that's always pretty cool. Um, switch over to widgets, and you have all the widgets, which, you know, it just surprises me how smooth and fast this ROM is. Um, to me, that's just really awesome. Um, so we'll go into settings. You guys can see what it is based off of. Um, we kind of pick up the brightness now so you guys can see this. Okay, good. Alright, so um, Android 4.1.2, and I'm using it on Virgin Mobile, so there's the uh, baseband for Virgin Mobile GB28 uh, with uh, Agate's uh, GB27 kernel. And right down there, Showstock 3, Epic 4G Touch Edition, version 1.0. Um, Pretty much everything is pretty much like the standard stuff that you would see on um, on uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.2 for the Epic 4G Touch. The uh, widgets up here are changed up a whole lot. Uh, they have like just a little, just a little uniqueness to them. Um, you can control the the brightness from there, and um, you can flash in the. Um, the three-minute um, customization app. I chose not to. Um, this ROM does come kind of locked down, so I'll tell you guys right off the bat. <clears throat> if you try to go to a uh, system updates, it doesn't work. So tapping um, update PRL or profile, it doesn't work right away. And multimedia messaging for Virgin Mobile customers does not work unless in the link when you download Showstock 3 scroll a little bit down there's a zip file to basically um, the zip file contains the system folders for the dialer codes and so you would have to do the whole um, once you flash that in through your recovery you can do the whole pound pound 3282 pound and get into the data programming um, if you don't flash that zip in you will not be able to access this at all dialing it it'll do nothing so be sure with this uh, ROM that if you're on the if you're on Virgin Mobile you're gonna want to change the APN settings also follow the developers instructions this ROM does not require the three wipes there is a zip file that you flash in recovery before flashing this ROM and it ensures a clean installation of this ROM so it wipes everything twice just to make sure it's it's wiped clean before you freshly install Showstock 3. So yeah, that's a look at Showstock 3. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and you guys found it um, helpful, or you just like watching uh, ROM reviews. And um, yeah, other than that, I mean this this ROM is just so smooth. I just like how smooth it just goes. And um, yeah. That's all the goodness right there. So anyways, guys, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, as always, uh, I will be bringing you guys some more ROM reviews for the Galaxy S2 on Virgin Mobile, also known as the Epic 4G Touch. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.